Hello, it's Josh Leeger from LeagerTrained.com. Here with Susie, and uh, I did an exuberant animal seminar on Sunday, and the feedback was basically like, you know, we, we love all this, all these games and things, but uh, there's no way we can remember all this stuff. So I'm going to try to sum up um, everything we did on Sunday really quickly, so people have a point of reference. The first thing I want to say before we start is uh, the play environment is uh, one of communication, so both people have to communicate with each other and say it's too much resistance, too little resistance, too fast, too slow, whatever. Um, also, you can adjust any of the games to have different effects. So if you want to have, if you want to build more strength, make it a lot harder. If you want to build stability or balance, proprioception, go to one leg. You know, or eyes closed, or whatever, right? So, um, so you're playing with the uh, parameters of the exercise, as well as playing within the game itself. All right. So here's some partner resistance stuff, and uh, I've already did, I've already done some of this on a different video. Um, let's do hand to hand. So we'll go here, and so Susie's gonna push, and then I'm gonna push back, and she's resisting me, and I'm resisting her, right? And like I said in a previous video, if this is unfair, because I'm bigger, I go to one leg, she has two legs. Now, it's a little more fair, right? Press, right? And then we can go side to side. Yeah, we can go high, low, right? So we can do all this stuff. Okay, good. If we do row, we can hold hands like this, and then I'm going to pull, and then she's going to pull. And then I pull, and she's pulling, right? Good. Same thing with one leg, two legs. We can do it like this. If you want to add a little stabilization challenge, this gets the core involved. Core. Right? That's good partner resistance. Now I'm going to ask Susie to start right here with one hand up. You're going to reach down to the opposite foot and then back up. Okay? So you're going to keep doing that. Go ahead. And then I'm going to add resistance, right? So I'm going to add resistance here. And then she comes up, and then resistance here. Go back as far as you can. Good. And then back as far as you can. Right. So, rotator cuff, rehabilitative corrective exercise. You can turn it into a game. It doesn't have to be this uh, strict thing. If a person needs specific rehabilitation, they should be seeing a physical therapist, not a personal trainer. All right? So that's kind of the difference, right? Um, we can take... All these partner resistance games and do them with a rope. So if we have a rope, we're on one leg, we're pulling, but then we can also play a little different game with this setup, rope a dope. So we're both trying to get each other off balance now, right? Oh, nice. She just let it slip. That's a good trick, right? Like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> The other partner resist, here you hold these two ends. If I come in, she's my human uh, uh, Nautilus machine, right? I did this on another video. So I'm pushing here. Um, you can pull this way too. One leg, two legs. Basically any, any exercise with a piece of equipment in a gym that you can think of, you can do with another human being. So let's do a little bit of the back-to-back uh, -back push. Right? So we'll start right here. And this is a leg, this is a leg thing, right? So I'm the push, she's resisting me. Right? And then she's gonna push. And I'm resisting her, right? Good. That's good. Good, good. Okay. <laughs> with that one too, you can change it and play with it and stuff. If you have a ball, you can both be reaching up, holding the ball as you're doing that uh, partner resistance drill. You can have the ball and hand it off to each other as you're back to back. So that that changes the dynamics and uh, creates different sorts of uh, requirements on the body as you're doing that partner resistance thing. More leg partner resistance, let's go side to side. So if we're shoulder to shoulder and I push this way, yeah, she's resisting me. And then she pushes and I resist her. Yeah, so we get the lateral stabilization. If uh, you come right here and face that way, 
and then I'm gonna push her so I have like a human sled, you know, like pushing a car, pushing a sled, the prowler. Um, the possibilities are endless. If you just want to do some like raw strength work, stand a little closer to me. Like single leg squats, she can be my sort of my um, tower of power, right? She's my support here. Or, you know, you can do things where it's like, let's hold the rope. And we're both going to squat down at the same time. So we're both going to squat down, and then we're sort of like using each other as a counterbalance, right? So you can play with that, one leg, two leg, all that. Stick. Same thing. We've done this before too. But this, this type of stick-a-dope or rope-a-dope with a stick has a different feel to it than the rope because now you got a little leverage and you can exert force in different directions through that stick, right? Cool. Okay, good. Let's do, uh, let's do this. How about stability ball? You, want, you need more stabilization. I'll be a human stability ball. You do push-ups and move your feet a little further back, right? So go ahead, wrap it out. Right? So I get let her get used to it, and then I'll start to shake a little bit, add a little stabilization challenge. Maybe I'll put one arm up here, or one arm down here, right? And all of a sudden, this becomes very difficult, right? Good. <laughs> Good. Um, what else? I'm going to wrap it up right here, but uh, there's so many other things. Like, we can do... Um, sort of like a concentration drill so if you hold your hands up and I'm on one foot and I'm reaching across the touch and then you move your hands to make it challenging for me right yeah sure so yeah nice yeah good oh. right nice so you can do that static you can do it jumping around all these things you can play with that's the whole point right you play with this um, even things like standard exercises like push-ups, which I can't do right now because my hurt my ribs. Um, if you change the position of your hands between each push-up, you know, you're playing with the push-up. If you do a push-up and then crawl a little bit, do a push-up and crawl. Um, you're taking these exercises and playing with them and really get the feeling of the play in your body. So that takes me to the last point. The last thing I want to say is play as an adult is an opportunity to revisit um, areas or experiences that we may have had problems with at younger ages. You'll get into situations where you might be asked to do things that, um, that you were bad at as a kid or you didn't do very well or you felt self-conscious of. And as an adult in a safe environment playing with other adults, um, or even with children, it's an opportunity to sort of um, come into contact with those those fears or those doubts in a safe way and sort of work through them. Okay, so play with that aspect of it as well. Your your emotional bearing. Okay, so you're playing with um, the intensity, the speed, the repetitions, the position, the uh, the external resistance, the other person, your own body awareness, you know, like try to do something where when I do this pushing motion, I'm just going to pay attention to the bottom of my feet, okay? And this will connect the kinetic chain, all right? And then pay attention to your emotions as well because it's a huge part of it, and that's it.